everybody. Welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Today I'm going to be making um, an Italian dish with polenta. Now polenta is a staple in uh, the northern Italian cuisine, so we're going to work with it today. It comes, the name of the dish is baked chicken with polenta and cherry tomatoes. Absolutely sounds delicious. So we start with polenta. Now polenta, you can readily get it um, at the grocery store. It comes in uh, blocks like this. This is uh, about, uh, what is this? Uh, 500 grams. Okay, so it looks like this. Very easily found. You can also get it in a box uh, and make it yourself. You can make it into um, logs like this, or you can make it creamy. And they uh, put, uh, chefs will put um, in the creamy polenta, they'll put Parmesan cheese and meat and uh, fish, whatever. Uh, it really is a staple. It, it, what it does, it takes the place of carbs. So you don't need potatoes or rice. So this is what you use. Um, the blocked uh, polenta, they will fry it up um, and add all kinds of uh, herbs and spices to it. So it's really versatile. And it's very much like southern grits, except that this is made with yellow corn and grits are made with white corn. So it's very similar. All right, so we start with a baking dish, or you're going to start actually by heating up your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, preheat it. You're gonna take a baking dish, you're gonna spray it down with some oil or you're gonna rub some oil on it just to make sure nothing sticks. And we're gonna start cutting up our polenta. Now, Dan, if you want to get a little bit closer here, this is what we're doing. We're cutting our polenta into about half inch slices and we're putting it at the bottom of the uh, dish. So I will have some left over. This has to be, this is not refrigerated when you buy it, but once you uh, open it, you have to refrigerate it. So that goes there. Now to this, I'm going to be adding some salt and pepper. And we're gonna eyeball it, just, you know, generously salt it like this. Uh, this will take on just about any flavor because it's neutral, you know, so pepper. And on top of that, we're going to put four tablespoons of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to eyeball that. Just give it a good sprinkling on top. That looks about right. All right, now comes the chicken. Now, we, we, what I have here is um, two chicken breasts with the skin on. And this recipe calls for two, two uh, thighs with the skin on, but I found very small fives, so I made four of them. So what I did, and it's not necessary for this recipe, is that I uh, seared the skin side of the chicken just to crisp it up a little bit. It's not necessary, but I like to do it. I didn't even do the other side. So I'm gonna lay this, this chicken, in here evenly. Okay, this is stuck together and there we have it very simple and very very delicious okay one more so i've got five in here and one here all right so there we have it there's the chicken now on top of that we'll go uh salt and pepper let me just wipe my hands so we have some I'm going to use a spoon because I did touch the chicken and we don't want to cross contaminate. So just sprinkle some salt on there like that, some pepper. Okay, some, uh, what's next? Parmesan cheese. We have a cup of freshly grated parm. That will go on top of there. It's already looking delicious, aren't huh, it? Yes, it is. We love Italian food. Oh, man. Okay, on top of that, we have about uh, two pints of cherry tomatoes on the vine. We're going to put the vines. I washed them, and we're just going to throw them in. Whoops, to here, like that. They will break down and become a beautiful sauce. And... The rest of these will go in there. Look how beautiful this looks. All we need is blue. Okay, and I've got uh, six cloves of garlic, which um, I sliced, but you can throw them in whole. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put those around. 
sliced garlic, fresh, of course. And I'm going to throw some Italian seasoning on top, about two teaspoons. Very flavorful, as you can see. There we go. And six tablespoons of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Again, I'm going to eyeball it. I want to make sure you have enough olive oil in there. And there you have it. That's it. Beautiful. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to throw this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or so. You want the internal temperature of the chicken to be about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to take care of that and I'm going to see you on the back side. See you later. Hi everybody. Welcome back. Well, here we have it. Baked chicken with polenta and cherry tomatoes. Looks absolutely delicious. So we're going to give it a try. Oh, what we're going to do, yeah, well, wait till we, uh, oh, the polenta is nice. Okay, there's the chicken with a little bit of tomatoes on it. Let me get a polenta. Oh, looks so good. Look at this. All right. Salute. Mm. Let's give it a try. It smells absolutely delicious. Ah, uh, Dan? Smells good. Mm. This is excellent. You are going to love this. And it wasn't hard to do, so please give it a try. If you do and you like what you see, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, spread the word, share. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for all your support. Remember to stay safe, be kind to yourself and be kind to others around you. And most of all, forget the mess. Enjoy your baked chicken with polenta and cherry tomatoes. See you next time.